Welcome in to Wheel of States, where the last state standing on the wheel wins. So we have 51 entries, as you can see over here. Uh, one result is just a, uh, a test run to see if it worked, and it does. Um, we have all 50 states plus Washington, D.C. Um, if you notice the weird lighting in here, it's because I have the lamp on, the regular light off, and it's like nighttime now, and that's because the regular light was providing a bad glare on the computer. So, without further ado, let's get going. And the winner, they'll say winner, but you're actually a loser because you're eliminated. You need to be the last one standing. I have a map of the United States up here and a world map here. The U.S. map here. And our first... Oh... Oh, our biggest state is gone first. Oh, okay. So strategy here. We want um, any New England state is fine. Any state on the like western side is fine because you know the state that wins, we're gonna have to you know live there. But we if we don't want to stay in the southeast because that's just like bad. Midwest is all right depending on where you're talking about, like Lake Michigan. Is fine. Um, like, Lake of the Ozarks is fine. But, like, I don't know. Like, some places are bad there. Um, and we definitely don't want New York or New Jersey. I'll have to deal with those filthy people. All right. Next result. And our next loser is... Iowa, Iowa, you are gone. Wait a second, did I remove Alaska? Holy shit, I left Alaska. I pressed close instead of remove. So I'm gonna have to, oops, I won't make that mistake again. At least I hope I won't. All right, I'm gonna start going really fast now or else this video is gonna take for fucking ever. And Oklahoma, Oklahoma or Kansas? Kansas is gone. Arizona's gone, all right. Desert State, not my first choice, but they do have the Grand Canyon. Um, the reason why the camera is so shaky is because I'm actually holding it while trying to click also and having it stable because I don't really have another device here or else it would be terrible camera angle. So I'm going to sacrifice the shakiness for a better camera angle. No, 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 no. Okay, fine. Rhode Island. Rhode Island. All right. Actually, you're the worst New England state, so that's fine. Um, why do we keep eliminating New England? That's just, like, terrible. New Hampshire's a great state. Uh, I wanted New Hampshire in the finale or something. But now they're gone in, like, the first five. Okay, we can knock out a bad state here. I mean, Arkansas is actually not that bad of a state. I want to, like, get rid of, like, Mississippi and stuff and, like, Alabama and, like, the places that we, like, don't want to live. New York, New York. Yes! Let's fucking go. <laughs> we don't have to live in New York. Oh, we don't have to live in this shithole. Oh, fuck. Pennsylvania. Philadelphia is a trash city, and Pittsburgh is, like, not that good either, although I do like the Roberto Clemente Bridge. But, like, the middle of the state's actually pretty nice, even though it's Republican. Actually, that's fine. But, like, they got some nice scenery there. All right, Indiana, you're the most, like, boring state that you could ever have, so I don't care. Fuck you. All right. Our, um, next state, um, oh, no, uh, my cousin Isaac's not going to be happy about this. All right, go to, su go subscribe to IC Cash because he's probably feeling sad right now. Um, oh, and now sports betting is in danger. Okay, New Jersey, New Jersey, get to New Jersey. Yes. New Jersey, not as bad as New York, but still close enough where the northern half is, 
Like, Newark is like, oh, my God, that's a terrible airport. Do go to Passover sometimes there, but I haven't done it in a while. All right, West Virginia or Ohio? Ohio. Actually, Ohio has some good things, but it also has Cleveland. There's three videos of the Cleveland song. Go look it up. I highly recommend it. Just search up Cleveland Tourism Video. I don't know which channel it is. Illinois. All right, you got Chicago, which is like Lake Michigan. But then after that, you got like, uh, what do you got? You got jack shit after that. All right, our next state. Ah, oh, I actually like Utah. Like Salt Lake City is a great place. You got the mountains, and then you got absolutely nothing. All right, moving on. We have California. California. It has some of the most beautiful scenery. It has some of the most nicest views. It provides, it has the Central Valley, which gets like all of our apples and stuff. And it has a lot of food. And also they will tax the ever living shit out of your bank account. So I'm not sorry about that. All right. Next up. um, Delaware. All right. Delaware is gone. I don't know a thing about Delaware other than like Joe Biden is connected to there some for some reason. Uh, vagina. I mean, Virginia is gone. Don't care. I slipped up there. All right. Our next state, Kentucky. Uh, actually. Kentucky's like an, uh, I know they just had a horse race a few days ago. That was pretty 80 to 1 long shot won it. Wow, what a race. But other than that, you got a bunch of poor people who live there and it's not very exciting. Alrighty. Wow, this video is already taking a long time and we're like two fifths of the Oh, Minnesota is a good state. Minnesota is a good state. Um, they look at, the winners are, like, not that good, though, because I like cold, but they're, like, a next level of cold, and they also have lots of bugs in the summer, so, yeah, maybe they're not that good, but they're actually a really good state. Okay, Missouri. I actually went to St. Louis one time, went up the Gateway Arch, pretty nice, but I also heard that St. Louis has so much crime. Kansas City seems nice, though. And then other than that, you got, like, Lace of the Ozarks, which I've never been to, but I want to go there. North Dakota, you're actually one of my favorite states because you have absolutely nothing there, but you're gone. Actually, yeah, uh, do they have North? Anyways, no, one of the best states, Maine. Maine is one of the best states that could have been here, but they're gone. They are gone. No, uh, this is kind of blurry on here. Michigan. Or Wisconsin. Nope, Michigan. Uh, I've heard a lot of good things about Michigan. Michigan seems like a pretty good state, but also probably not one of the best states. So we're fine with that, as long as we don't get a shit state. Um, ah, I wanted it to be South Carolina. Because North Carolina also has some pretty good things. Like North Carolina, it has Mr. Beast. And the Smoky Mountains and the Outer Banks and, like, Mr. Beast again. No, seriously, if you run into Mr. Beast, you're you're making bank. You won't have to work another day in your life if you meet Mr. Beast. And he likes you. If he doesn't like you, you have... Ah, uh, Colorado. Ah, uh, I like Colorado. I went there one time, but they actually seem to have some nice things in Colorado. Too bad that... We've had too many bad things. And look... 25 left. We're halfway through. Thank God. Oh, we don't have to live in Mississippi. That's a relief. Oh, there goes my clock. The singing clock. You want to watch the clock in the dark? Watch the clock. I'll just let it play. Meanwhile, Maryland's eliminated. High level, we're, we, we've hit halftime because the clock has decided that it's halftime. Even though we're past halftime, but still it's halftime. And it's 11 p.m. on a Tuesday night, so I should probably go to bed. But for some reason, I'm filming this video and I have school tomorrow. Alrighty, next video. Uh, sorry, not, uh, what, what am I saying? Next date. 
Um, South Dakota. Don't really care. Bye bye. Uh, thank God. Florida, another one of the shitholes is gone. I hate Florida. Uh, Florida's a giant dump. All right. Next one, Nebraska. Um, you like provide like all of our corn and wheat. Actually, Iowa does. Actually, Nebraska and Iowa are right next to each other. But so I might not have any food left. But we'll be, oh okay. Thank God we don't have to live in the government. Plus, you're not a real estate, so feel fraudulent if you won. But also, like I decided to include you because like you like are kind of. Taxation without representation, but still goodbye. Louisiana, another place we want. now. Louisiana actually is um better than like Mississippi and Alabama because it has like New Orleans, and it has like the Mississippi River. Well, Mississippi has that too, but like Louisiana has like the Mississippi River Delta, and it also has some good things, but. For the most part, the geography is too close to Mississippi for my liking, so I don't care about that. I ah, spent way too much time talking about Louisiana. It really doesn't deserve that much attention. Oh, Hawaii. All right, we can't live on vacation all the time. No, seriously, like, Hawaii is a great vacation, but I don't know about, like, living there for, like, a long time. Now, in terms of, like... Washington, you know, I actually went to Seattle, seemed like a pretty nice place, but it also seems like a lot of anarchy, which also sounds kind of nice, you know, they have the planes, went to see Boeing, who was there, Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, I forget one of those guys, and you also have Mount Rainier, which I've seen in the distance, but never been to, but it also seems like a nice place. Yeah, I've heard, like, Washington's actually a really good state, so it's bad that it's eliminated, and Wisconsin's eliminated. Uh, no more cheese. Next up is Idaho. No more potatoes. Wow, we're eliminating food fast. Food fast, fast food. Um... Wyoming's gone. Ah, shit. I went to Yellowstone a few years ago. Really nice. What in the, actually, you know what? Jackson Hole is actually a really nice place. Like, it's, it's, it's underrated for how good it is. It's actually really good. But now they're eliminated. And now New Mexico's eliminated. Never been to New Mexico. I've been to Colorado. I've been to Utah, and I've been to Arizona, but I have not been to New Mexico, the fourth four. The fourth of the four corners, or the second of the four corners, however you want to describe it. But it does have, like, Santa Fe and Albuquerque and, like, some mountains. I've actually heard it has a nice climate, but their food's just way too spicy from what I've heard. And now... Connecticut's gone. All right, I live pretty close to Connecticut. Um, but they don't have that much. Like, nice visit, but, like, it's very, like, poor, rich state, if you know what I mean. But not, like, New York poor, rich, because it's, like, different, because it's part of New England. Montana, I actually spent a whole night in Montana. You know, how they do the exit. Uh... And this is where I started finding out about the exit numbers also. When in 2018, after I finished my visit in Yellowstone, started in Jackson Hole, went up and finished in Montana. I was driving I-90 in Montana, which like I-90 is here also in Massachusetts. But the we were driving like on the highway for a few miles. And like I see, like there, obviously there was like a few miles between exit numbers because, you know, it's Montana. You know, they're not going to have an exit every mile. But like... It was, like, so ridiculous because, like, they they would, like, have the exit numbers be the miles. So, like, for example, if you were, the like, let's say you were coming up to exit 327, 
So you pass 327, you th think the next exit will be like 328 or something like that. But no, it's actually 333 because you go six miles and it just, it's still retarded. It just, it just fucks up your whole brain thing. And now they're doing it here in Massachusetts. It's a, I, let me tell you why. That's a federal hate crime. It's pretty high on the list. So, um, I don't know if Montana invented it. Probably not. First time I saw it, but Montana has like the northern, it has like Glacier National Park. So I actually like Montana. Oregon, nah, Crater Lake. Goodbye. I actually like Oregon though. Like Oregon's actually pretty nice. Actually, now we're into the top 10. Only nine left. And Tennessee's gone. Um, Tennessee, there are some places to like, but the majority of the state is not a place to like. But there are like a few places that you can live in Tennessee and not like be bad. Uh, Georgia. Here's how you divide Georgia. Atlanta. The, the, no, not Atlanta. The suburbs are of Atlanta are pretty nice. They're fine. You know, I have family there. It's it's kind of nice. The rest of Georgia, you don't want to go near. But I actually went to the coast of Georgia one time. Uh, actually, the beach is pretty nice, but it's just you don't get the same ocean breeze as Cape Cod and their bugs are too big. I also heard they have some the Appalachians, the mountains are in the north. Never been there. I've been to Atlanta plenty of times, but... I usually stay in the suburbs and, you know, but I do have some good things. Like, I always go down there for Thanksgiving and it's nice. West Virginia. Oh, I don't have to live in poor state. That's good. Actually, shit. Alabama and South Carolina and Oklahoma. Oh, my God. There's only like, okay, there's two options that we, we need Massachusetts and Vermont. We can't. Texas, I might be able to work with just because it's such a big state that there might be a place to live. But, um, like, South Carolina is going to be hard to deal with. Alabama is going to be really hard to deal with. And Oklahoma is also going to be hard to deal with. So we need, we need Alabama and Oklahoma out. We need them out. And yes. All right. One of them will be out. Oklahoma's out. All right. We desperately need Alabama out. Alabama needs to go. All right, Texas is gone. All right, that's fine. I can work with that. So we have two acceptable states here, Massachusetts and Vermont, in the final four. And then we have two unacceptable states, in Alabama and South Carolina. I know I'm being very statesist, if that's a word. Like, there's racist, sexist, statesist, I guess. But I don't care. It's 11 o'clock. South Carolina's gone. So now it's down to three. And, oh, shit. I guess I'm moving because I live in Massachusetts. Okay. Here we go. Uh, should I just rig this so, like, if it lands on Vermont or something, then I say, oh, they win because it's like down to the final two. And if it lands on Alabama, then I stick with the system the whole time that it that it's been in there. I don't know. Nope, we're sticking with the system. Yep, I didn't have to rig it at all. <laughs> Alabama's gone and Vermont's the winner. I'm okay with that. Um... Yeah, uh, guess I'll, uh, shout out my, uh, cousin Sylvia for winning this. Um, I'm actually going there sometime. Haven't been there for a while, but, um, Vermont's actually a pretty good state. Um, you know, has some nice places. Uh, if, if I had to, like, pick a place to live in Vermont, I'd probably live, like, pretty, um, like, in the town of, like, wherever they live, like, Burlington or somewhere near there, like, where my cousins live, because, no, yeah, where my cousin lives, because, like, I still live really a place I know, and I haven't been there in a long time, but I'm going there, actually, next month, um, and if you look at the map up here, you know, those they have, like, Lake Champaign, they have, oh, Vermont's a good state. They have cheese. They have, like, honey and, like, maple syrup. 
and they have like the Green Mountains and things, and the Connecticut River, and yeah, I can I can I can make Vermont work uh, just fine. Um, we don't have to live in a bad place. Vermont's a, yeah, I don't have to move very far. All right, that's going to do it for this video. I don't know why I made this video. I don't care what you do with this video. You can like it, unlike it, comment, not comment. Just um, make sure the next time you have to take a dump, please do it in your own bathroom. That'll end it for this video. Goodbye.